With forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and 3 gigs of data for just $44.99, or with 5 gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. After a federal judge set a precedent Wednesday by ruling that the rights of a former client of Stanville Disability Attorney Eric C. Kahn were violated by the Social Security Administration, Prestonsburg Attorney Ned Pillersdorf, who represents many of Kahn's former clients, held an informational meeting today in Prestonsburg to inform the former clients of Kahn exactly what Wednesday's ruling means for them. Before today, we were behind. I think we have taken the lead. There's 10 seconds to go in the game. We should be able to hold this lead. Yesterday, when we look back, maybe the most significant moment when a well respected federal judge said these people were treated worse than terrorists. To get a U.S. district judge to say that, and boy, did he say that in 33 pages, is a big deal. I predict we'll eventually win, and I think people will look back and say yesterday was the turning point where the sun finally came out. It took 15 months, but the sun finally came out. If there's one thing the former clients of attorney Eric C. Kahn have taken from Wednesday's ruling and today's meeting, it's hope. Well, we're hoping that it'll give us some hope and it's the reason we come down here to listen and see because, you know, we just, we just hope, I mean, that someone's trying to help us now, I mean, because it's like it was just something that's trying to shove us under the table. I mean, we know we're supposed to be presumed innocent. We're innocent until proven guilty, but it seems like we was all Mac of guilty. It's eat us up. I mean, it's like something inside eating at us, you know. We pray every day it's something to work out. The Social Security Administration is expected to appeal Wednesday's ruling. Reporting from Prestonsburg for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.